Bonjour, buenos dias, magandang umaga. Welcome to the inner sanctum of my chamber of chakras. And thank you for joining me on another episode of Astro Affirmation for June 26, 2023. How was your weekend? I had a homey one. I told you last week that the man and the boys were driving to San Diego this past Saturday to be with my eldest son, Anthony, for his birthday, right? Well, all of the boys got sick with the flu and the man said he wasn't feeling well either. So we quarantined ourselves this weekend and all stayed at home where the homies at. <laughs> That was my daughter, Trinity's saying. She painted on her sculpture of an ashtray that she gave me. It said, home, where the homie's at. <laughs> Isn't that clever? It was a huge clay ashtray that she made in her sculpture class at CCA, California College of the Arts in Oakland slash San Francisco. Yeah, it was heavy and strong, polished. It's all shiny beige color with artistic flower vines designed and written in calligraphy on the inside bottom face of the ashtray. It said, home is where the homies at. I really love that ashtray, but it fell from the balcony to the concrete patio of the backyard when Bob Heminger, God rest his soul, bumped it off when he was climbing up to the roof. Yeah, good old Bob Heminger. He used to live across the street from us before we moved here to the big blue house. He sounded like this. Hey, Tony, what's going on? <laughs> he was our handyman for fixing this and that but he was an air conditioning expert. And whenever we had any cooling problems in the past, and wouldn't you know it, the AC would always break down during the heat of summer and we'd call on Bob the Builder, can we fix it? <laughs> Bob the Builder, yes we can. Si se puede. Yeah, he passed away a few years ago. R.I.P. Bob, we miss you. Yeah, so the man and the boys got me sick. Do you notice my voice is like a kind of a low volume because if I go any higher, I'm going to start having a cough attack. Yeah, because now I'm coughing and sneezing, sinus headache, chest congestion no fever though so there's no infection just a bad cold i believe i'm not surprised that the man decided not to go to san diego after all <laughs> i can always count on him to change his mind but he's always the man to me <laughs> he's cancer he's built like a dancer <laughs> That line I got from The Perfect Find, starring Gabrielle Union and Keith Powers on Netflix. Yeah, it's a new romantic drama on Netflix. It's so cute and funny. That's my reco for this cancer season, for all you homies out there. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> cancers, sidewalkers, the crab. What's a bull to do? <laughs> Crabs are always trying to find balance with every step forward to find the straight and narrow righteous path, right? <laughs> I think Charlie Brown of the Peanuts King, I believe he's a cancer because he's labeled as wishy-washy. <laughs> but I think that's not such a bad thing. I look at it as water which is cancer's element, right? Water, predictable in its uncertainty, going with the flow of the ever-changing emotions. Yeah, water is nice. 
Tony is a nice guy. <laughs> yes. A close encounter of the 69 kind. The glyph of cancer is a sideways 69 representing the crab. See its claws, pinchers, and also the mother's breasts because it's maternal. The cancer sign is maternal, nurturing, caring. The sun is now in this sensitive sign, this emotional and intuitive sign of cancer, while the moon is now in Libra, the scales. <laughs> so again, we're talking about balancing, right? The scales is for balancing. It balances relationships, Libra does, right? With justice equality and fairness so all you libras out there yes i see all of you yes you ray nam todd open up receive the oil of anointing pouring down from the core of your brain your pituitary and pineal glands are secreting this sacred oil and flowing down your spine to the base. So let it flow. Let it flow freely by opening up. Okay? Yeah. Before I forget, let's sing our theme song. We are one. Okay? To connect our coronas. Connect it together with our voices in unity and harmony. Here we go. We are one in the spirit, we are one in the Lord, we are one in the spirit, we are one in the Lord, and we pray that all unity may one day be restored, then they'll know we are Christians by our love, by our love, yes, they'll know we are Christians by our love, we will work with start our crown chakra chat got my wide awake coffee from seattle here in my lavender spade coffee mug to activate the crown chakra yes we have a special guest here with us guess who amarethan you're right girl Get up here in front of the camera and show yourself. She's got her back turned to me being shy. Come on, say hi. I'm flying inward to soar upward and bring spirit downward and outward. Girl, girl, girl. <laughs> That was from the Girl Talk skit on SNL this past Saturday. I, I don't know why. I just think that it was so funny. Anyway, yeah, let's burn this Aroma Naturals aromatherapy candle. It's called Tranquility and it's lavender scented with pure and natural essential oils. It comes like this. It's light purple. 
lavender color. Let's light it up. Does the trick. Let's put it up here on a pedestal. Yep. There. Got my mandala up there for the crown chakra on my window. Yeah, we we had the roofers on top of the bl big blue house today. It's like thunder. Lightning, the way you love me is frightening. You better not on wood, baby. Yeah, we had a lot of knocking going on up there. Yes, but now I think they went on a lunch break because it's real quiet. But the noise, it was almost unbearable. But I'm glad it's over for now that I'm making this video but while I was typing my script for this show destruction sounds were happening but it's necessary right destruction is necessary before construction can begin right the only way out is through You've gotta break down to break through we're finally replacing our roof after 20 years, 23 years of living here. Been here since 20, 2000. Yeah, when my, um, my fifth son would had just been born. He was like only a month or two or three months old. Yeah. So thank God for my coward of Summit Solar and Roofing. He hooked us up with our, our property insurance, farmer's insurance, and it's getting done. Hello, you and Mia. <laughs> okay, so, yeah. So the ruling energy of the day is the crown chakra, the Sahasrara in Sanskrit. Sahasrara is the lotus of a thousand petals. Think of yourself as a lotus, spiritually everlasting, existing eternally, rooting in the earth and enduring the mud, growing and thriving, even in the dark mire, rising up through the murky water to surface above the depths of death, birth, and rebirth, to bloom at the top of the water, to greet the sun, opening its petals one by one, as consciousness expands towards infinity. Purple is the color of royalty, spiritual awakening, the wisdom of God. Yes, here's the symbol for it here on my chakra shawl. You see the circle of petals? It expands with consciousness. Yes, to complete awareness. See, as you can see there, there's no triangle in the middle because the flow of energy is directly from above. The spirit in the sky, that's where I'll go when I die. When I die and they lay me to rest, I'm going to go to the place that's the best. Yes, 
starting at the singularity of creation right there the origin the center of the circle the focus here is where spiritual downloads right inspirations messages from above and information come into consciousness which opens outward on all sides the reality of the surrounding space and actualizing the self yeah so the thousand petal lotus flower represent a completely conscious human being formed from the earth to live by the spirit when you live inside out walking in and living in the spirit of god in you sin is no longer your master for you no longer live under the requirements of the law instead you live under the freedom of god's grace that's from the bible romans 6 14. no um this one yeah and then it also says bearing the fruit of the spirit which is love joy peace patience kindness goodness faithfulness gentleness self-control there's nine different ones one two three four five six seven eight nine against such things there is no law that's from galatians 5 22 through 23. galatians 5 16 to 17 says but i say walk by the spirit and you will not gratify the desires of the flesh for the desires of the flesh are against the spirit and the desires of the spirit are against the flesh for these are opposed to each other to keep you from doing the things you want to do spiritual and carnal are human beings each opposing nature must be in the right measure according to the situation growth development maturity and finally transformation into the supreme being that you were meant to be in the cycle of life birth death and rebirth birth death and rebirth I'm wearing pale purple today. This shimmery shirt my late brother Alexis Pena Goko gave me for my birthday oh years ago. I have it over this lilac colored dress that the man gave me for my uh, for Mother's Day this past Mother's Day. My April crown ring is right here given to me by my brother Nam and my third eye protection ring that I bought from this queers giving party I went to last year for for Thanksgiving um, they had uh, booths merchant booths and one of the booths sold this so I bought it third eye protection ring I also have my mom's my late mom's amethyst um, ring and bracelet set that is the color of the the crown chakra yes my light matte purple press-ons aren't they beautiful and my makeup to match to open activate and balance the crown chakra the sasrara yeah i crocheted this crown myself to wear on such an occasion as this, right? And also when my granddaughter Lily comes over, she always wants to 
wear our symbol of monarchy for the queen and princess of the big blue house. She wears this royal tiara and I wear my crochet crown with silver brooch in the center and amethyst gem at the topmost peak. Yes. So the crown chakra, the Sahasrara, is the seventh and highest chakra of the primary energy centers in the core of our being. Our current, our current that connects us to sky above, which is a connection to the sky above is the crown chakra. And our current has the root chakra, connects us to the earth below, the root chakra. These two chakras work in tandem with the root chakra bringing earth energy, pushing it up from below to above, and then the crown chakra pulling down sky energy from above to below, and that's happening simultaneously, meeting at the heart chakra, which assimilates those two energies, right? The physical and the spiritual, and unites them into one um, level of consciousness, the uh, being, for a freely flowing force and source of power that is always with us. The mantra for the crown chakra is Aum, or Aum, the sound of the universe. And the hand position is pinkies up and the rest clasped together like this. Aum. Okay. So unblock all your chakras today. Unblock all these power centers in our current, right? Starting from the root and turn on the power. You know, plug, plug into Mother Earth, turn on the power and let consciousness current flow freely from above to below and below to above, okay? Connect with God universe the collective consciousness, the cosmic consciousness, be led by the Spirit of God who resides in you. I leave you now with this Bible passage from Ephesians 3, 14 through 17. It is also my prayer for each of us. It goes like this. For this reason, I bow my knees before the Father, the creator of everything in heaven and on earth. I pray that from his glorious, unlimited resources, he will empower you with inner strength through his spirit. Then Christ will make his home in your hearts as you trust in him. Your roots will grow down into God's love and keep you strong. That's all I have for you today. And once again, I honor God in you and me. Namaste.